Oh, 
ขอุ่นมีกินลุงลายอันนาอโลนาซีอุนโนสงสุขโหเลนัมพีขันโคชิงสะเกลเลคุนโลทีจิงสะเกลเตปุยอีพิฮัมนลุงเกลนิลุงละดานาอเลอีพิซิอาฮิทาจินาซิฮัมนามะ
They're demanding statehood wedged between the dominant Métis and the Nagas. The Kuki problem shows how ethnic aspirations have been ignored in the Northeast. Sen and I have been special investigation team visited the camps of the Kuki National Army in Southeast Manipur for this exclusive report. These are soldiers of the armed wing of the Kuki National Organization or the KNO. Training inside the jungles of Manipur close to the India-Myanmar border. This Kuki militia is 1500 men strong armed with an array of weapons. We have AK rifles, M16s, G3s and 60mm mortars. The KNA, the armed wing of the Kuki National Organization, is under a ceasefire agreement with the Indian Army since August 2005 and is a product of Manipur's ethnic wars. In Manipur, there are three communities, Kukis, Nagas and Maitis. So you can't have solution for one and ignore the other. If you want the entire region to be, you know, in a situation where there's peace and uh, stability and tranquility. The Kukis, primarily hill tribals, say the British divided the traditional Kuki land between India and Myanmar. The KNO now wants statehood for Kuki dominated areas in Manipur within the Indian constitution. If India wants us to be part of the Indian Union, we are happy to do that. Then recognize our territory by way of statehood. The Kuki militia does what the army can't, protect Kuki villages from the UNLF and the NSCNIM. Not surprisingly, this militia is tiny but tough. Recruits who fall out of line invite harsh punishment. Keno recruits are young, many just 15. To motivate them, a strong sense of faith is crucial. At all Keno camps, the Bible and the gun stay side by side. Training is not a good thing. I have to go to the house. Isn't it a failure of Indian democracy that young Kuki boys like these are training to fight an enemy they hardly know? and against a country that claims them to be its own. With Rajesh Bhardwaj and VK Shashi Kumar in Southeast Manipur, Rohit Khanna. And up next, all the action from the ICC camp. Armed ethnic groups have parceled Manipur into tribal fiefdoms, holding the state economy to ransom. Sana Yaima, leader of the UNLF, 
that represents the dominant Imphal Valley-based Methe tribe admits that extortion is common. There are so many armed groups in Manipur because arms are easily available. Uh, if you have two pistols, you can form a group and start collecting money from the people. Behind me are the hill districts of Manipur, which the Nagas consider a part of their idea of a greater Nagaland. The NSC and IM's vision of a greater Nagaland clashes with Sana Yaima's agenda for an independent Manipur. Caught between them is the Kuki tribe, who claim the hill districts for a separate Kuki state. Naga groups claimed several Kuki lives in the ethnic wars that followed. The Kuki say that even the Indian army did not help them. The Indian military was there, but they were never to be seen. The Kuki National Organization currently has a ceasefire with the army. But in the jungles of southeast Manipur, the Kuki militia continues to train. Along with the Nagas, the Kukis are also deeply suspicious of the Metes. Where was UNLF? Did they ever prevent IAM from uh, killing Kukis? Were they able to protect them? If they did, 900 would have not died. 350 villages were uprooted. More than 50,000 have been displaced. Ten years ago, Nam Khulain's family were victims of the Kuki Naga conflict. He is now a committed Kuki militant. I love my land and nation, and I cannot tolerate it being oppressed and violated at the hands of other people. That's why I have sacrificed my life and taken up arms. But Sana Yaima says the ceasefire with the KNO's armed wing is an Indian strategy to keep the ethnic cauldron simmering. India is very much trying to keep us divided on ethnic lines pitching one ethnic group against another. The same old divide and rule policy. This bridge marks the Indo-Myanmar border. The government of India has failed to tap the potential of this highway either to reduce ethnic tensions or enable trade to grow. In Manipur with VK Shashi Kumar and Rajesh Bhardwaj, Rohit Khanna. Ethnic battles have divided Manipur. Uh, if you have two pistols, you can form a group and start collecting money from the people. Meite, Naga and Kuki tribals view each other with suspicion. Watch a CNN IBN special investigation, India's Hidden Wars. Sing. 
ati sando na nagbabawi pa ka kay ho pa din may mong simpaki tawin o pa
weary we may be, but never giving out and let's all come together till our work is done.
Doksan din Do ting na bong in no zing hem Khang no te I chut pa na chan no I gom hi na di I chung pa thien vang bu I hen hang ki cho Hang ki cho Ki cho Hello, Peter, yeah. 